fail to sharpen deep, the steel sharpens steel. And uh, but most of all, thank him. He put the work in. He did what I asked him to do. He went through what I asked him to go through. And he smashed on it. His nephew, his cousin will say he never stop crying. And he won't. Not as long as I'm living. But uh, I want the coaches. Coach Fit, uh, B, yes. please. Say, say what you need to say. Uh, first of all, thank you for all of you family members for coming and being a part of this. This is a big step in his life, and he's basically done everything that we've asked of him. And for the most part, all the kids, you know, a lot of times you don't realize how important a kid it is to be coachable. You know what I mean? Some kids are so set on their ways that they know everything, and you can't tell them anything. But for the most part, all of the young men that we deal with have always bought into what we've done and what we continue to do, and it shows. You know, uh, even though our, some of our kids might not be able to get that opportunity to be at that Division One, but the one thing about it is, is that all of our offensive linemen, whether they were starters or backups, have all gotten offers. And that's just simply because of the things that they've done to fill in those boys when it comes and take out the, take the opportunity to make the most of it. And Dalen was one of those kids that when he came to us, I, I've known Dalen probably long as Pops forgot that uh, him and I talked uh, back in Laughlin not often, uh, what's uh, the place up in the neighborhood? What they Mesquite. 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 That's how far our relationship goes back as far as the communication. Uh, I've always told him, hey, I'm here. This would be a great place for him. And I can promise you that we will push him. And that's what, I mean, the other kids that are here can attest to that, is that we push. And we push hard because we know what we can see the talent, that sometimes they don't see it and they don't understand it, but it shows in what we've done in all the years that I've been here. Every year we continue to get better and better. And this year was one of those things with him coming back. Uh, Nick, who's here, I hear Ray Jan, Nick. Nick was part of our offensive line also. Nick's been around for two or three years now. He had a medical year. Fortunate to get him back this year, and he, made, he was a big part of our success also, along with a couple of other kids. But I just want you guys to understand this, this is a great accomplishment. And I'm truly honored to be here and be a part of it. You know, I always tell his dad, I was just a little bit. He's like, no. I'm like, no. Because, you know, you come into people's lives to make a difference, and then you move on. And that's what life is. And I hope to see him continue to succeed because I know I'll be here for him if he needs anything from me. And that's the same speaking for Coach Phil. Him and I are the same, we're one. You know, we talk the same way, we do the same thing. Everything we do is for the kids. We don't get anything from us other than the glory of seeing them continue to succeed and move on. But thank you again. I appreciate everyone who's coming and hopefully for any out there kid that you guys might know, send them our way. We'll gladly take them. Like Coach, Coach B said, you know, really proud of this young man. He's done all, worked really, really hard. You know, since, you know, I joke with him all the time. Go way back to seeing that goofy little kid at Winter Circle, hey, with the glasses bigger than his head. Hey, but, you know, he's come a long way. You know, you can see the development, not only physically, but mentally, uh, as he's gotten better and better. Like again, not just the physical aspect of the game, but understanding the mental aspect of the game. I think we've done a pretty good job of uh, helping him out in that aspect. Um, but I'm excited to see where he's going to go. You know, it's only up from here. You know, I told him many times, just keep working. Just keep working at everything you do. Keep competing. Like we tell all of them, keep competing, and good things are going to happen. So um, excited for him. You know, I know this is a long day coming. Long, it felt like a long, long day coming, but you know, you never stopped working, and I'm super proud of you. We go keep working, you know. Again, like Coach B said, if you need anything, only a phone call away. So, appreciate you being here.
else, no coaches. I appreciate it. How's everybody doing? Uh, my name is Darius. I'm Daylon's first cousin. So Daylon um, is my first first cousin um, on my mom's side. And I used to hold him in his arms. I used to hold him in my arms when he was a kid. Yeah, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> hold up. Hold up. Um, um, I used to hold my little cousin in his arms, man. And I always knew he was gonna do something special. You know, it was my auntie's first kid. She used to always tell me I ain't never having no kids because she thought I was so bad. So just to see my, my cousin, you know, stay focused as a young black man, there's so many other things that we could be doing out here. And to see him on the right path, grinding, making his parents proud, like, you know, it, it almost brings a tear to my eye. Um, my organization actually sponsored him a thousand dollars you know, just to make sure he has some, some funds and stuff like that when he go or do whatever you want to do with it, man. I'm just so happy for my cousin. I can't even get all the words out, but Daylin, I just want you to know, from the bottom of my heart, I love you, little cousin. Do your thing, ball out, NSG. <laughs> youth programs you see a big kid man that's that's like gold right um, not only in size but he's big at heart um, me and his dad had many conversations um, a lot of tears a lot of blood a lot of sweat just um but just as a parent man um it's a lot of credit goes to you and mom um just being there consistency is always going to be the key in anything that you do right um Failure is not always a bad thing. Sometimes it's something where you can learn and push through and just obstacles that you gotta get through. Um, you know the Big Blue and uh, the Twire family for a while. And uh, it's never any love lost, especially when you disconnect because like Coach said, you know, people come into your life and it seems like they disappear, but they really don't. They just kinda, people do things in their life and they just venture off, but when you reconnect, it's always, uh, that was a sign that everything happens for a reason, right? Um, obstacles in life, man. You guys did a wonderful job. This is a test, a testament to hard work. And um, God is always going to be good. I see it on the shirt. Um, God is good. It's great. This is a, the reason behind it. So, Dad, you guys did a good job. It's been an honor to coach you, man. Um, good luck in your journey. And this is not even the beginning. That's the scary part. So it may seem like it, but the journey is far more than over, far more than started. So just get to it, man. Just do what you've been doing. Be consistent at it. So love y'all. Much love to y'all family. Thank you, Thank you. Um, Me and Coach Bloody, we, uh, we coached on the Oak Hills first championship with these guys, these guys were actually all seniors at the time. And uh, our head coach, which is still our head coach now, Coach Mexner, he kind of laid down the groundwork for teaching these young men about leadership and what it takes to be part of the team, being accountable to everything that you have to do. And uh, he brought my son down, <laughs> and that's why I met the coaching staff. And uh, we actually bought into to everything that was going on over here in Mount Sac. It's a great place to grow in. And uh, especially for kids that uh, don't know what they want to do, and kids that are looking for that second chance and stuff, it's a testament to you guys' it's hard work. So appreciate you guys, and uh, God bless you on everything you have to do here on home. Just that hill gets higher and higher. And you just got to continue to climb. Congratulations. But could not miss this day for the world from the day that day was born until now. He's always been my big baby. I'm so proud of him. He is the gentle giant, you guys. Like, he is a kid that is so humble. If there's no one in the world that deserves this, it's you. Like, I'm proud of you. I'm proud that you continue to listen to your parents and that you follow your dreams but that you work hard and you stay humble. You continue to keep God first. That's the reason why good things continue to happen. 
use God first and always push to be the best. I promise you, the sky is the limit. This is just the start. Boy, he has no idea what they gain. And your family is never too far away. We'll be right there. But I want you to know that I'm here and I'm so, so proud of you. And I love you with my whole heart. Thank you for continuing to be amazing and wonderful. You're the best in the world, baby. something about Dana that I, I knew from the get-go, like, he was going to make it, like, he never lost his faith, he never lost his confidence, like, no matter what happened, he was always like, no, I'm, I'm going to make it either way, and I knew, like, it was, it was no question that he was going to take it to the next level, like, even when, when he was getting his offers, and our senior year, we had this one class, and he would tell me every day, like, I'm not going to lie, like, I, I'm going to D1, I don't care how it happens, but I'm going to D1, and I, I knew, just the way that he would tell me, the way he would talk to me, like it was like he didn't care how he get, he was gonna get there, but he knew he was gonna get there. So it's you know this this is a blessing, especially you know to see him, you know now getting what he deserves after all this hard work. You know a lot of people don't see what happens behind like closed doors. Mm -hmm. You know it's it's truly a blessing to see this. You know his family to have this. You know this is it's a lot. It's a lot of weight off his shoulders. I'm just happy for him and his family, friends, and everybody. You know what I'm saying? I, I love you, Dana. Good stuff, man. Freshman year of high school, and I think just right off the bat, we, we became friends pretty quickly. You know, going against each other in practice all the time, and just making each other better. Yeah. And uh, I always loved going against you because you were going to make me work. And uh, I don't know, we always talked. College goes heavy. Man, <laughs> this, this is my, my daughter, this is my man right here. Uh, one word, uh, if you want to describe it with one word and all, it's uh, hard work. He's, a, he's such a hard worker, man. From high school, 
you always want to bring me out to these training and stuff. Coach Burns. Yeah. Man, <laughs> that, was, that was some work. But, you know, he's always, even off the clock, behind the scenes, what Buddha was talking about behind closed doors, just always trying to get better, perfect his craft. And that's one thing that, that um, is so great about him. He's always just, he's on the clock. It don't stop. There's no off season. And so to see him put all this time and effort into reaching his goal and actually earning it, it's just, it's been a beautiful thing to see. And, you know, all you can do is wish him the best and you just keep going forward. But. Junior, um, right off the bat, I mean, very humble, always warm welcome. Um, he, come, he would come over to the house every time hang out and everything, parents love him, everybody loves him at the house, family's always asking for him. Parents did a wonderful job raising him, very welcoming, humble, kind-hearted, big teddy bear. Um, <laughs> I mean, like the other one said, there's no off season, there's no time to quit. I mean, we would go out to the park, we would go to the house, work out, we'd go football season, whatever, it's just, Every time he'd see you lacking, or every time he would something would go wrong, or he doesn't like, he's gonna put you in your place and tell you, "Hey, let's get better." He's not only a selfish guy; he's not selfish for wanting to get better himself, but he wants everybody else around him to get better. And that's just one thing that he did throughout. I've known him there, on and off the field, on and off the field. And hey, my God, my God, my God! Um, I've probably known David the least amount of time than anybody in this room. I just came here. Uh, last summer, I met him, and just awkward, but I knew he was a cool dude. I knew he was gonna kick it. And it's weird, because he played over and I played D-line, so I didn't know he was gonna be as cool as we thought we were. But uh, it's been a blessing to know him, and to see him grow these past few months that I've known him, and just the kind of person he is, man. He's a big guy, but he's kind at heart. He, has, he grinds, he's focused, and it's just a blessing to see him come this far. And I couldn't miss the day, it's crazy. I texted him about 45 minutes ago. I was like, yo, so I did that one thing today, right? He's like, oh, I said, one. I had to hurry up and get up here, man, because I, I, I love to see it, man. I love to see my guy going places, man. And stay positive, man. Keep God first. And I love to see it, my boy. Uh, I was fortunate enough to play with him this year. You know, it was a blessing. You know, you know, just being on the field with him. I also worked with him security, so that was another thing we were together doing. So, you know, it was truly a blessing being a part of the journey, playing with him this year. You know, we didn't probably <laughs> Dalen, uh, our freshman summer of high school, and Dalen showed up when we just got pads, and I remember walking up to him and introducing myself to Dalen, and our conversation ended in him saying, well, I'm here for business, right? <laughs> Dalen was always, work ethic was always there. If there was hard work, Dalen was pulling me to it. Coach Rick's training, training outside, lifting weights in Dom's garage. We'd go to the park. I remember we ran 40s, and Dalen beat me once, and I got upset. I was like, there's no way Dalen just gassed me. Right? <laughs> and recently being able to work out with you again, I still see the work ethic. Daylin has always been there for hard work. Amen. Um, I just thank God for all that be here. Um, Lou, to you, man, you know, we've been out a lot, especially working with me now. So, yeah. you know, um, you definitely was a big part of my life. You've been, you've been of course, a stranger now, basically family. and. You know, you pushed me to be who I want, like, who I'm not, big person, you know. <laughs> Damon, this is my boy right here. Just, we done been through a lot together, I'm not gonna lie, from being on the field together, just freshman year, from going out, having fun. Appreciate everything he be doing for me. He checked up on me, he sent me all these all these motivational things, and it may not seem like I'd be like reading it or hearing it or gathering that information from what he's sending me, but I hear you, and I really appreciate you for that, because that stuff, that stuff keeps me going for real, and you're just a blessing to me, and I'm glad to have you in my life. This man is so humble, like what everybody been saying. <laughs> I love this boy. Like, like, I don't know what I would do without you, man. Keep grinding, like, 
We see you. We know you're going to do great things. So keep at it. I love you, brother. So random and weird, but uh, my name is Monet, and I came up here actually today with my son, and we, I guess, got caught out for a visit. And of course, I was cussing him out, driving all the way over here because, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot. But um, I, I think it's really nice to see. We, we had a five minute conversation. Um, my son wanted to come in to watch the song he happened. So to have a high school student who's a senior in high school um, to watch this going on is really important because a lot of times, you know, everyone wants to talk about signing from high school, you know, and a lot of times, it's not God's plan. So for me as a parent, it really kind of brought my, my spirit down a little too to be like, you know what? It's okay if your kid doesn't go to a, a D1 or a D2 right out of high school. So just seeing this, I feel like it's, thank you for inviting me, pushing out, um, and just having the five minute conversation. You taught me something from putting them out and seeing them lay clearing and just different things like that. So even though you don't know me and you don't know my son, you definitely have touched us yeah. just being in here to watch it seeing the coaches from when you were little and stuff like that. So I got your information, I'll be watching you, and, and just know that you've touched a, a high school student who's still looking for a home to go to. So I appreciate you guys. Okay, so this is my big cousin. So every day, it was the first time I got his number, I used to call him, ask him how his day was, how's his grade, how's football going, he told me great. <laughs> I'm gonna make it. And that inspired me to keep on knowing football. He like inspires me a lot to keep going on my life. I used to call him every day. He used to say, I'm going to make it. I'm going to go do one stuff. And I used to be like, all right, how's your grades in football? He used to be like, it's good. <laughs> and I used to be like, you good. I'll call you later. And then after that, we would talk like hours and hours. And then Thank you guys all for coming. I know y'all all know this is my baby. First, the first one. And I appreciate everyone for coming. It's, it's been a challenging road, uh, a great road. It, it was different when he first started with uh, Coach Poletti. Football was not his thing. He did not want to play. And everybody said he's a gentle giant. He did not want to play football. He didn't want to hurt anybody. So I thank you, Coach Poletti, for bringing it out of him because he decided to stay with football after playing with you. You were, you were the first one. So he started, he started football with you and he stayed. And I thank you guys because you guys have developed him into the young man that he uh, we only going up from here. So I appreciate everybody for coming. It'll be another one. There'll be another signing. Yeah, but I won't be talking at that one. <laughs> so but I appreciate all you guys. You guys are all, most of you guys were there with him in high school, Aiden and Buddha. And there's a few of you guys that I know, Cameron and Zayas. I can't remember all your names. But yes, I just want to thank you guys all for coming and spending this, this hour or so with us. We really appreciate it. We only going up from here. He ain't done shit shit. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't done shit shit. <laughs> Last, like they say at the very beginning, he didn't want to play. Period. He didn't want to play. I made him play one year. I said, son, I'm gonna play this one year. If you don't like it, you figure something else out. So he signed up for it. It took a lot. It took a lot to get here. A lot of, a lot of late nights, early mornings. They know I appreciate my, my parents for sure, man. They, they did a lot. They did a lot. It took a lot to get here. So I appreciate everybody for coming out. I, I'm an emotional guy, bro. So <laughs> I, don't know, I can't talk too long. But I appreciate all y'all for. I appreciate. It. Thank you. I want to get pictures with him, the coaches. 